I um hi. Um, I've made you quite a few videos about this piece, and I think I was talking when I uh, recently, not the last one, but maybe the one before that, I was talking about my edges being uneven. If you remember, um, and I had to add something to alter the depth of these so the edges would be straight and I said that one of my concerns was that I didn't want to lose this little addition here um, so I haven't really done a lot on this this past week I've been consumed with class stuff which is obviously the priority I have my two classes that are running at the moment um, but I just thought I would do a little bit on here a little bit of beading and what I'm going to do they just, just you seem to like these little videos, these little snippets. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm outside in my studio and I've left the door open but I can hear things. Hope nobody knocks at the door. You might get an appearance by the postman and then what would we do? Um, I'm going to mirror, there's beads on this side, okay. I'm going to mirror those on there. At least that's the plan. So we'll give that a go. Um, it's already attached with stab stitch so if I put the beads in between each little stab stitch now I'm using blue beads and like a rose gold coloured bead um, and I'm hoping that the, the blue in particular will show up on there but we'll see um, so how have you all been? I'm loving, I'm permanently, almost permanently in this studio and I resent having to do things like put the washing on and <laughs> not really but I just want to be out here all the time um, I'm going to move in, I said to my husband I'm getting a divorce and I'm moving in the shed so there's one, two, three, seven on there so I do apologise for the outside noise, but I do want to keep the door open. Um, so that's the first little dangle. Oh, that's quite nice. So I'll go to the next one in a second. Do the next one again between the two stab stitches there. Pull in a little bit. I just don't want to go out of the view of the camera. And I don't always, well, I never really count the beads and put the same number on each thing. Three. So, well, I've said counting there, but one, two, three, there's seven on that one. It doesn't matter to me if there's seven on this one. Um, I just what I try to do is shake up the colour so that the colour distribution isn't the same. Um, well, it depends what I'm working on actually. If I was working on something where that was important, then obviously the colour distribution would be counted and measured, etc. It's a porcelain coming. That's quite nice. Hopefully it won't come round here. Fasten that. I should have shut the door. Never mind. And we'll do one more. So I'm going to need two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dangly things on here. So we'll do one more. One, two. I, mean, I know I'm counting, and I said I didn't count. What I should have said was that it's not important that they're all the same. In fact, they look nicer sometimes if they're not all the same. And to just demonstrate that, I'll do an extra long one now. The only thing about the extra long one is it's a bit tricky to secure it, but I like a challenge. That is a lot longer than those. 
and on here there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. Can you can't see can you because of my fat fingers? I forget, you know, I just crack on. Even making videos, I get lost in my own little world and don't realise that my sausage fingers are in the way. I can't really amputate my fingers, can I? Not a lot I can do about that. So there, so I'll leave it at that. So it's a little bit more work on there. I'm actually not anxious to get this finished, but excited about when it's finished and then I can wrap it around my book. Um, my artist book that will be a, a good day a good day 